Alright everyone, I'm proud to announce that I got my new camera, my Canon PowerShot SX30IS, so now all my videos from now on are going to be in high definition, which is I'm very excited about. Now, I finally got this. This is about, I'd say, 99% finished. All the electronics are in. I got the camera on. Um... I basically have left to, to do is balance the CG so once everything is in I'm gonna balance it out and then I'm gonna add the the wireless transmitter for my video downlink and that's gonna that's gonna help me basically place it on the plane see where, where exactly I'm gonna put it on the plane once I figure out where the CG is I can use that to move it back and forth too because it's basically it's pretty it's pretty balanced right now but if I want to get the exact CG that's what I'm gonna use to to balance it out so but it's pretty much finished I'm going to show you guys exactly what's done ok you can see down here that is where my camera is mounted on a pan and tilt mount that can be turned left and right and it's not in any way I mean it looks like it now but if you look real closely it's not impeding the the steerable nose wheel. The steerable nose wheel has more than enough space to go left and right without touching the camera. And you can see how I mounted on the inside. That's how I set up my steerable nose wheel. Obviously, it's a little, it looks a little messy right now, but it's actually when I put everything in, it looks neater than that. Everything has its place. You see the co-pilot I'm using because, well, these planes have been known to uh, tip stall a lot, so I don't want to lose this plane and all the equipment in it. So I'm going to use co-pilot on it, co-pilot with it. That actually goes inside there. You can see the hatch. It has its space on the inside. All the wiring from the back to the front to where the battery hooks up to the ESC and stuff at the back if you can see I painted the, the the ESC and the BEC that comes on it the color of the plane so that it blends in perfectly you can see the side arm the side servos that control the elevator I decided to use some 17 gram like it's basically better quality servos for the and stronger servos for the the elevator. Now I'll give a shot of the rudder. My rudder mod. The rudder mod. I gotta fix this wheel here more straighter. I gotta probably glue it in better, but that wheel is just to help for hard landings. In case it hits the ground, it won't hit the rudder itself. Then, we've got the motor in the back. I cut out a bit more of the this part here on the back because I wanted to get more more air in there I'm actually using what is the motor I'm going to give you guys a shot of the motor I'm actually using a so <clears throat> as you can see the motor in the back works real nice. <clears throat> I tested it out on the watt meter. It was going at about <clears throat> almost 300, about 290 watts. Was it watts? Yeah, 290 watts at about 30 amps. And there's, that's a 50 amp ESC and I think about a 400 watt motor. So it's well within the limits, uh, the power limits.
all right so basically this is what it looks like finished all right and all I have left to do is add basically use the, the, the wireless transmitter for my my FPV camera use that to balance out the plane so I basically find a balance it out and then find the best place to put it on the plane to keep it nice uh, as close to CG as possible and then I gotta just do a bit of radio mixing so if I'm gonna do set basically set up the my 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 Futaba with this plane set up the servo throws and servo uh, travel set up any mixing I'm gonna do if I'm gonna mix in a little bit of rudder with aileron and an elevator or whatever I'm gonna do that's the basically the last step to do is set up my radio with this plane it's got the basic setup the four channel setup and now I'm gonna set up everything else to where the camera is hooked up to uh, the radio the wireless transmitter will be on there and whatever mixing needs to be done before I I even think about maintaining this, this this bad boy right here but it looks nice after all that after all that it's finally done you can see that's my hatch door just a little piece of velcro like that that keeps the hatch door closed and keeps it all nice and locked Alright, I put the battery in. I'm gonna let you guys hear the motor a little bit. Sounds nice, huh? And that's not even, that's about a third. Not even half. That's about a third. Ooh. Don't wanna go too much. But yeah, see it works nice. So it's basically just to, to tune my radio with this plane and make sure that everything is just precise. Okay, so all in all, with all the equipment, FPV equipment, and everything together, the plane, batteries and everything, the plane comes in at... 1375 now there's one more wire that I've got to add to it that's gonna hook up basically the battery the battery to the from the transmitter to my wireless camera and all that stuff so it'll, it'll average it'll round it out to about 1400 grams now 1400 grams equals about approximately three pounds now they say you want at least 100 watts per pound now the plane I didn't bring it all the way to max but when I was testing out the the watt the amps the watts and all that stuff it, it came out to about 300 watts and I'm sure if I, if I put it to full throttle and held it there for a bit longer. Actually, I'm gonna do another test of it, but it'll it'll probably go above 300 watts because it's a 400 watt motor with a 50 amp um, ESC. So it looks like it's it's basically a one to one ratio when it comes to thrust or thrust to weight ratio. Sorry, tongue twister. It's gonna be about. It's gonna be tight, but I think it'll work out. I think it'll it'll it can handle the weight. It can handle the weight. It's not too heavy. Three pounds, that's not too heavy for a plane. Fully loaded, that's everything to the teeth. 1,400 grams.
All right, this is just a little test of my FPV cam. Oh, I just plug it in. There we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I need to clean up. Who cares? Oh, beautiful. Looks just lovely. I also have a head tracker with it. For some reason, I like controlling it by my remote better. I don't know. I try the head tracker and it's cool, but.